everybody. Welcome aboard uh, Crew Dragon Freedom. Um, we are Crew 4. I'm uh, Chell Lindgren. Hi, I'm Samantha Cristoforetti. Hello. Hi, I'm Samantha Cristoforetti. Hello. Hi, I'm uh, Bob Hines. How's it going? Hi, and I'm uh, Bob Hines. How's it going? We are super excited to welcome you aboard. Uh, we are super excited to welcome you uh, aboard uh, and, uh, the uh, Freedom. And uh, we launched uh, last night, um, about 14 hours ago. Um, it was a. We haven't seen the footage of the launch, but uh, it was an amazing ride up into low Earth orbit, and we're making our way to the International Space Station now. Um, we just wanted to show you around our uh, home here for the the past 15 hours um, before we dock. And so I'm going to hand it over to uh, Wadi first to to uh, share with you uh, some of her favorite things about being here in the Dragon. Hey everybody, so as a first time flyer in space here with uh, my, my classmate and friend Farmer, um, our first and uh, most favorite part about being on Dragon so far is definitely the view. So we can take you over here to the window that we get to uh, sleep next to and eat next to and hang out next to and just show you what we get to see, which is just this amazing Earth. It's been so cool to see the uh, Terminator come in and out, the day and night cycles. You get to see the clouds and all of the rock formations are uh, particularly interesting to me as a geologist. Um, and we are just super excited to be up here. One of the uh, questions we often get asked about is the significance of our zero-G indicator. Uh, it may look like we have two, but rest assured, we have one. Um, uh, Samantha and I had the uh, honor of uh, allowing our kids to choose our zero-G indicator, and uh, so we went to our, our daughters, and um, my daughter chose uh, Zippy the turtle. Uh, it's one of her favorite and oldest uh, stuffed animals, and so uh, we brought uh, we brought Zippy along for uh, for the ride. He has been training with us for months. Uh, we have a photo uh, photo gallery of all the uh, training events that he's attended along with us. And uh, this is Etta. Etta is uh, the way that my uh, older daughter Kelsey uh, used to call her because uh, she, in Italian, she would be a small monkey, a scimietta. But when she was small, she could only say Etta, and so that's how we uh, call her. And it's actually the first toy that I bought to her for her before she was even born. So I was very excited that she chose uh, Etta to fly to space with us. It's been awesome, and Julia and um, Kelsey have uh, become good friends, gotten to play a lot uh, over the last uh, few months, so it's been awesome. Uh, there is uh, added significance to these. Uh, they were, it was uh, unsolicited, uh, but the, uh, the zero-G indicator uh, actually has uh, additional meaning to our crew. So as Jessica mentioned, uh, she and I are in the uh, 2017 astronaut class, and our, uh, every class has a nickname, and we were known as the Turtles. So obviously Zippy is very near and dear to our heart as a turtle. Um, Chell's class from 2009 are known as the chumps or the chimps, uh, and, uh, which obviously is a monkey. And then uh, Samantha's class from the European Space Agency were known as shenanigans. And as everybody knows, if you get a turtle, turtle and a monkey together, that is a shenanigan. So that is our single zero G indicator that we have for, uh, for our mission. And it's been, uh, it's been amazing being uh, up here again in space, uh, and one of the most incredible things I've experienced so far was uh, last night. Uh, we had a couple of burns during our sleep period, with, you know, all of a sudden you see yourself and your sleeping bag pushed in the vehicle because you have a burn, the, the thrusters turn on. So I, I went up and peeked through the little uh, uh, window that we have uh, here on the, um, on the hatch, uh, and I saw 
visually this uh, thruster firings going on. It was like a, a ghost flying behind us, this very, very light glimmer making incredible shapes, and then it became more of an incandescent light, and it was just, just beautiful. And then that, that sound of the thrusters going on, tum, 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 and that display of light was just amazing. <laughs> So uh, obviously for me as a rookie, uh, one of my favorite things is uh, looking out the window. And this view that we have out here right now is just spectacular. We're coming across the Terminator, uh, which is the division between day and night on the Earth. And uh, just the way the horizon uh, and the atmosphere lights up and how it gets accentuated uh, as we come into darkness or come out from darkness is just absolutely amazing. So that is certainly one of my favorite things. And uh, for myself, um, I have to say that uh, uh, launching, um, just the, the sensation of the rocket uh, last night uh, was absolutely amazing, amazing. An incredibly smooth ride um, and just uh, incredibly fun to, to, uh, to feel that uh, acceleration and then uh, the weightlessness after we got into orbit. And uh, we also like uh, the <laughs> some of the little treats that we uh, get. One of the benefits of being an astronaut is that uh, you get to play with your food, and um, and so we're sharing uh, sharing up here. Today during um, our um, post sleep meal, um, farmer took out a bag of um, candy chocolate candy. What? <laughs> And uh, he offered um, one to each one of us, and uh, Wadi at first didn't want one because she was having, like, breakfast sausage. <laughs> but I'm like, sorry, but that's a rite of passage. You have to grab a candy-coated chocolate with your mouth uh, from me there when you become an astronaut for real and you're in space. <laughs> so much uh, for joining us on uh, the uh, Crew Dragon Freedom. Uh, we enjoyed showing you around our uh, our home for the next few hours. Uh, we're looking forward to docking with Space Station and uh, sharing more of uh, our work and uh, um, the, the amazing science and research that we have the opportunity to do uh, with you over the coming months. So thanks so much, and uh, Crew Dragon Freedom signing off.